Schaefer. Our tale of the tape gets an all-Canadian battle as Bocek faces Alessio, who is two years older, two inches taller, but it's Mark Bocek who will have the two-inch reach advantage. Here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Blake Rice. Uh, hang on, guys. Blake Grice, our referee, Mark Bocek. And John Alessio we returning to the UFC. You ready? Fight! And here we go! Blue trunks for John Alessio. Alessio, very experienced, 34 wins in his MMA career. Black and red trunks for Mark Bocek, the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Alessio's a very well-rounded fighter, and I'm, I'm glad to see him down here at 155 pounds because a lot of his losses have come at 170, but at 155, he's uh, perfectly sized, really well-rounded, as I said, real good boxing, good submissions. Mark Bocek should have the edge, though, in the ground game, and I expect that that's what he's going to try to impose, and right away, he shoots for a single. Alessio, born in Vancouver, British Columbia. Mark Bocek, born in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Bocek trying to connect the legs together, his and, hands together, rather. And Joe, like he has got very it. good takedowns. Excellent, some of the best in the UFC. Yeah. Really technical, both with his jiu-jitsu and with his takedowns. His wrestling, very solid. I mean, striking years, solid as yeah, well. Yeah, years ago, Mark, Mike Van Arsdale, who of course is now the head coach for Rashad Evans, said that Mark Bocek has the best takedowns in MMA today. Well, an interesting t statistic, when Mark was a teenager, he was teaching Lorenzo Fertitta and Dana White jiu-jitsu. Yep. Their first jiu-jitsu instructor. So and he takes the back. Around. Yeah, he has for a long time. And Alessio looking to hit the switch, looking to put his hands in between the legs and drop down, perhaps, if Bocek gets him down. And now he's trying to separate the hands. And Bocek really working that left thigh with the knees. Goes high with it, too. First three UFC fights many years ago. Oh, and he drags him down. Nice. 170. Right into side control. Very nice. Alessio oh, put wow. on his back, and he gets back to half guard, though. Well, it's not even he got back. Yeah, he jumped Alessio, into it, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, Bocek stepped right into it. But he might do that for ground and pound purposes. Yeah, Look at this. Good ground and pound yeah. here, Joe. He's trying to get that right arm in position. As we said before, a lot of fighters actually like to be in the half guard to hold the opponent with that leg to, to get some ground and pound in. It's one of Randy Couture's favorite positions. Bocek stayed in Canada to train at TriStar in Montreal for the Nick Lentz fight. Also did the same for this fight. Well, Alessio, we haven't seen him in the octagon in a long time, and this is the last thing he wants to be doing in the first round of his first fight back in six years. Yeah, first UFC fight since October of 2006. He was 27 years old. 11-4 and four since his last appearance. Comes in on a three-fight win streak, winner of 10 of his last 11. But not a good position to be in against Mark Bocek. Yeah, he was looking for a sweep there, gave up on that, and now he's just trying to clinch, and he gets to full guard now. Oh, nice big shot elbow by, by Bocek. Bocek. And another one. Very effective with significant strikes early. And when we talk about significant strikes, we talk about strikes that significantly improve the fighter's chances of winning the fight. The difference between a solid elbow like that, Joe, and a pawing jab or a glancing shot off the arm. Ones that make a difference, and we'll track those throughout the night. Bocek using excellent control here, Mike. Forcing Alessio to fight his fight. It's looking he's going for a darts here. And another Softening short elbow. Him up with short shots. Let, the, let go of the submission attempt. And Alessio gets it to butterfly guard here. Much better spot for him. He can elevate with those insteps and push up on the weight of Bocek. Bocek steps over it, and now they're into half guard here. Alessio is simply outmatched on the ground here, Mike, and that's what's going on. Now Bocek looking for a front choke, spins to the back. Joe, a lot of guys are outmatched on the ground with Mark Bocek. Yeah, he's got one hook in. It looks like he's got them both in. Nope, the right hook is not quite in, but he's softening him up Man. on that side. Bocek is nearing 40 significant strikes here in the first round already. He's a little high on this back. He's going to have to scoot his hips back, and note how he's doing that. 
See how he's doing that? Yep. Smart. Excellent yeah. technique by Bocek. Everything uh -huh. he does is so technical. He doesn't try to muscle anything. Does everything the right way. The last four of five he's wins got have come by submission. Full back, and he goes with the body triangle, constricting the breathing of John Alessio, squeezing the organs. One Terrible the, spot for Alessio. One of the first in Canada, Joe, to earn his Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. Also a black belt in Kempo Karate is Bocek. And that was the sticks to signify the end of the round, and Bocek dominates. Yeah, all Mark Bocek in the first five minutes. No worries, son. You understand? Breathe. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Heart rate's going down. Heart rate's going down. Breathe. Breathe. Good job. Relax. Excellent job. Very good job. I want you to do the same thing all over again. Yeah. Excellent. Fantastic job. Slowly, slowly. A little bit by bit. Heart rate's going down. I want you to do the exact same thing. Good distance control. Watch the left hook. That's his money punch. That's his favorite punch. He's breaking. George. Oh, he's breaking, yeah. Cut that ring and put this guy down again. I love the ground and pound. Break him mentally. Keep ground and pounding the jiu-jitsu. And here we see Mark Bocek's strategy. Right hand connects. And as soon as he got close, look at that beautiful sweep there. I like how he kicked that leg out dragged him to the ground. Big elbows on top by Bocek. And you heard Faraz Sahabi saying that they believe John Alessio is starting to break. Well, I like what he said, too, and just do the same thing again in the second round. <laughs> yeah. Keep it simple. Alessio coming out, man. He was trying to set up a Superman punch or something there. Yeah, it looked like a flying knee. Yeah. Bocek was ready, and Alessio knew that he was ready, and the danger of that is if your opponent knows it's coming, he's going to put you right on your back. And that is not where John Alessio wants to be again. We've watched Alessio go from being this promising newcomer to becoming a real veteran. I mean, back in the day, he challenged Pat Militich for the title yeah. at 170 pounds and lost by armbar. It was a long time ago. That was in June of 2000 at UFC 26. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, Alessio was 20 years old. Yeah, he fought for the title 12 years ago. Wrap wow. your head around that. Yeah. And he fought for the title when Militech was the champion. Yeah, that goes way back into the olden days. Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Joe. Tonight we're in Atlanta, Georgia, looking for that lead uppercut was Alessio. He wants to engage in a striking game against Mark Bocek. Bocek with good head movement. Well, this is where Alessio should have an advantage in the stand-up. And if he can keep this fight standing, John Alessio has some excellent technique with his hands. Especially his left. Really solid jab. Good left hook as well. And he swung for it right there. But he's just got to keep that distance. And keep his base down. Doesn't want Bocek grabbing a hold of him. Nice combination by John Alessio. Bocek drives through the hips and scores the takedown. Long time Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt going to try to scoot the hips now and put Alessio on his back. And Bocek able to transition nicely. He is so technically sound. Bocek steps over with that left. Seven of his ten career wins by submission. Bocek has studied Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for over a decade and a half. Trained for many years at American Top Team. He's worked at Team Quest with Dan Henderson. He's been with Greg Jackson. He worked with the Gracies, with Hickson Gracie and his crew in California for a year. That was a big punch by Bocek there. And this, when he gets... John Alessio down. John just really is outskilled. Yeah. He, he just can't deal with the technique, the control, and the pressure of Bocek from this position. Bocek stays heavy on him. He wears you out. He makes you carry his weight on your abdomen. And Bocek's going to press down with that instep and get that right leg out. And using the head and arm to control the body as he does so, he will attempt to mount here. And unless he'll get it back to half guard. But look at that kick out and into side control. Beautiful job by Bocek. That is just textbook technique there. Unless he'll hip escapes for a bit and gets it right back to half guard again. 
But Bocek, in the meanwhile, is just beating him up from the top. And he's looking for that arm triangle. Alessio's got to be careful of that left arm. When he, when he puts that left arm near the neck of, of Bocek, Bocek's trying to capitalize on that. And elbows by Bocek. Alessio trying to work himself ah, back up, and he feet. does. Nicely and he done. lands a left hook. Alessio, not easy to finish, Joe. Not at all. I mean, he's been finished at, at welterweight. And he's been, you know, beat up by larger men, but at lightweight, he's a threat. Yeah, and he comes in on a roll. Ten of his last 11 victories for John Alessio. Bocek wants to shoot and get this fight back down to the ground. See if Alessio can establish that jab you talked about earlier. Got a very strong and stiff jab. Yeah, if he has an advantage, it should be in boxing. Nice leg kick by Bocek. Tries to go straight up the middle. There's a couple of good punches there by Alessio. Alessio trying to fight off this takedown attempt. Under 30 on the clock here in the second round. There's so much working against Alessio in this fight. You know, the significance of it, the taking all this time off and trying to be comfortable, and the fact that Bocek is so comfortable. He's had so much success as of late. And he comes in on short notice, replacing yeah. Matt Wyman. But it's an awesome opportunity for him. It's what he wanted, what he needs to get back into the UFC. And now he's just got to gut it out. Trying to work the clinch, and that's the end of second round action. Right here, Marky. Right here. Breathe. Right around, right? It's close. Let's treat it like one-on-one -on -one to be safe, okay? Just to be safe. Let's not play the game. Let's get this round two. Okay. Breathe. Breathe. Yeah, I have my friend. Now listen, Mark. I want you to try a first effort double leg. Okay. Don't just grab the leg. Blow through a double. Okay. This time when you get on top, he never gets back up. And you're allowing him the underhook. No underhook. Don't give him the underhook. If he gets the underhook, focus all your attention on taking away his underhook and then the ground and pound. Priority, breathe, that's it. There's only five minutes left. You can do five minutes, okay? Josh. Cut the ring, make sure you cut the ring. Cut the ring. Okay. This, whole, this whole round is a wrestling and jiu-jitsu match, the whole round. None of it, none of the else, okay? Take, take, take that that's his only chance, his only chance. Let's go, Johnny. Johnny, let's knock the f out, Johnny. Let's go. Whoa. Yep, strong language. Yes, Gil Martinez, extreme couture. In the corner of the other natural, John Alessio, in the home of the natural, the Hall of Famer, Randy Couture. All right, fellas, round three. Alessio round three. and Bocek, third and final round. Stay with your strengths. The message of Faraz Sahabi, and Alessio comes out swinging. Yeah, Faraz didn't want anything but a wrestling match, wrestling and jiu-jitsu, and John Alessio is trying to throw some bombs here. Uh, he and said coming in that Bocek wouldn't want to get nice. in a fist fight with him. Well, you know, you know Bocek doesn't have to yeah. if he can grab a hold of him. But if he does stand up here, the longer he stands up, the more opportunity that John Alessio has to connect. And there are many Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belts who don't have great takedown skills. Oh, Mark Bocek is not one of those John men. Alessio just connected a very hard left hand on Bocek and snapped his head back. Yeah, and if he goes for a takedown, Alessio's got to make him pay. And you can hear a very animated Gil Martinez in the corner. And John's landed some real good right leg kicks in this round as well. Taking a bit of spring out of the step. Oh, he messed up Nicely there with the front timed. kick. Beautifully timed by Bocek. And again, one hook in. He's got the over-under, controlling the back. He's getting that second hook, prying it in. He's got it. Full back mount for Bocek. He's a little high on the back here, and he will uh, use that underhook on the left side to scoot his hips back and soften up John Alessio. And he has the luxury of knowing that he most likely won at least one round. Yep. He just has to win this, and if he can hold this position, he will have this round. And he's beating him up here. Yep. Trying to work himself into a good position to wrap the choke up and... Leave it out of the judge's hands. That position where he's in right now with the triangle on the bottom, it puts some pressure on the ankle of Bocek and doesn't allow him to squeeze. And uh, most times, fighters will adjust and they will switch and put the triangle on the other side. 
Right now, Alessio's not rolling towards See, there he switched. Yep. Nice call, Joe. Uh, Alessio's not rolling towards it to pressure it. Now he is. Now there he'll he roll goes. towards the other side. Yeah, and when, when it does that, it's, it's, it's significant for the guy that's caught in the back mount in that it alleviates some of the pressure on his organs. But the real pressure, as we've always said, comes from when the guy's in that position and his belly down. Great ground control by Mark Bocek in this fight. Yeah, he's so solid technically. He just does everything right. Six and a half minutes nearly spent in control on the ground for Bocek, and that has led to nearly 70 ground strikes for Bocek. Alessio showing some good defense, though, and look at that. And he's up. Good job by Alessio. And pushing forward. Should Bocek's be a sprint bloody, to the finish man. here. I don't know what happened, but there's a lot of blood on the face of Mark Bocek. You know what? Bocek has thrown his share of ground strikes, but so has John Alessio. Front kick. And Alessio trying to tee off here late. Oh, good right hand by Bocek. Set up Sweeping with the double right jab. Hand. Again, he tries to time the kick to get the takedown. And Alessio thinking about going for a guillotine, then thinking about who he's fighting and letting it go. And gets taken down. And you hear Robert Drysdale, his jiu-jitsu coach, and Gil Martinez, they're screaming for John Alessio. Trying to get those hooks in, Joe. And again, Bocek got that back mount. And Alessio is nice. able to sneak Good out the back. by Alessio. Good knee. Alessio applying pressure here with just over a minute remaining in this fight. He's trying to win. Forty-five seconds. Bocek almost has his hands connected here. Trying to complete one more takedown. Good defense by Alessio so far. Just trying to get some space here. Yeah, Bocek all over him. Bocek not allowing Alessio to have time and space to work his striking game. Ten seconds. Still pushing forward, John Alessio. Good right hand by Bocek. Solid jab by Alessio. Oh, good right hand by Alessio. Final seconds of the fight. And Bocek and Alessio have gone the distance. First fight in the UFC since 2006 for John, the natural Alessio. Let's take a look at that again. And here we see the takedowns of Mark Bocek. Here he has the back of Alessio. Look how he kicks the leg out and goes right into side control. And that was really the story of this fight, Mike, is the takedowns and the grappling dominance of Bocek. And here's some solid ground and pound here. And here's some, some punches while he has his back. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this contest 30-27, 29-28, and 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Mark Bocek. Mark Bocek has won three of his last four inside the octagon. He defeats John Alessio by unanimous decision here to get things started tonight at Phillips Arena.